Here is a basic uh, example of a differential equation. Let's say that we have an object falling, and let's say that this object is falling pretty close to the surface of the Earth. Oh, poor guy, this fellow is falling, and the ground is fast approaching. All right, if we're pretty close to the surface of the Earth, then the only thing, and if we ignore uh, air, then the only thing that is working on the, the motion of this person is gravity. And we can assume that this gravity is constant. So what do we know about the motion of this uh, falling object? The, what we know is that its acceleration is going to be equal to gravity. Or since gravity usually is reported as just a uh, quantity with no sign, and since this thing is going to pull the poor fellow down, we're going to say that the second derivative is going to be minus g. So that's a fairly basic differential equation. Very easy to solve. I'm sure you can do it right now. All you have to do is to two integrals in a row. Uh, integrate that minus g with respect to t and then integrate what you get with respect to t again to find the actual height. That's what h stands for. Okay, that's uh, that's a simple example. It's a bit too simple. Okay, now what about for someone who's falling for a big height, so high you can't even see the ground? Well, in that situation, maybe gravity is not constant. Remember, gravity depends on the distance between the two centers of gravity. And so if we're far enough, we can't assume that gravity is constant. So what that means is that our g now is not a constant, but is itself a function of h. Okay, so now we have a more complicated differential equation. So we have a differential equation of second order, because it involves a second derivative. What we're looking for is the function h. And what we know about the function of h is only that its second derivative is equal to minus the gravity estimated at whatever height we're looking at. Now, again, as I said, the point of a differential equation is we want to find out what the height function is in terms of time. Notice that we only have one independent variable here, namely time, and so this is an ordinary differential equation.